this episode of Operation Mustangs and More, we went to the Bolo Auto Museum, finally had my September show, and it was a blast. Shelby's, Cobras, Mustangs, we had them all there. You need to check out this episode. I got my viewers' rides, I got my how-tos, I got a little shop reality. Stay tuned, it's coming up. putting together the show that I had at the Bolo Auto Museum. Shelby's, Mustangs, T-Birds, Fords like you would not believe at this show. The weather was a little dicey the day before, weren't sure about it, but it ended up clearing up the day of the show. The sun came down, it ended up being such a beautiful day. My wife and I were at the gate, I was shaking hands, greeting all the people as they came in. We had such a good time. A gentleman named John Vargo who was at the show, he sent me a video clip of what he had uh, had at the show too. I attached that to this too. Check it out.
Order a bunch of parts to get ready for the car show this weekend. And I got a hot deal, too. You think? Think again. Oh, man. Tired of back orders? You need NPD. With four strategically located superstores, orders are shipped direct to your door within one to three business days. National Parts Depot has quality restoration parts for Ford Truck, Mustang, Camaro, Chevelle, and Firebird. For your free catalog, visit NPD online or call toll free. Every day I get cars dropped off at my shop with lists of things for me to check out. And one of the more common things I find that's on this list is that the backup lights don't work. The reverse lights on a lot of these Mustangs just don't work for whatever reason it is. Uh, they seem to age or you get bad bulbs. And, and you know, the first thing of course I'll do is I'll check for the bulbs because the bulb is the biggest culprit. But if both lights aren't working, Odds are it's probably not a bulb situation because usually both of them don't go out unless somebody is really lax on replacing either one of them. So first things first, we'll check our bulbs, make sure we got good bulbs and go from there. Then I'll go up to the fuse box and I'll see what I got in the way of current behind the fuse box there. Fuse box on some of these Mustangs is in hidden areas. On the 65, 66 cars, it's to the left side just above the kick panel itself is where you'll find the fuse box itself. Take a test light. Use a test light uh, to figure out which fuse is bad and which fuse isn't. That's the easiest way of doing it. You can get test lights for as cheap as $9.95, $12.95. That'll be the best tool in your toolbox if you want to diagnose a few small electrical things. Then from there, if you've figured out that the fuse is still a good fuse, you know you have current running through the system itself. On the automatic cars, they have an apparatus on the side of the transmission that is a neutral safety reverse light switch assembly itself. It controls the reverse lights, but it also controls it so you can't start the car in reverse or drive and then have it just lunge forward on you. They didn't have that kind of a uh, capability, that cutout kind of a capability on the stick shift cars. So if you got a stick shift old Mustang or Camaro or whatever, make sure you have it added neutral before you go turning that, uh, that ignition switch and lunging yourself forward or backwards. But um, the next thing you're going to do is check that switch itself. Now I raised the hood on this one here because the connections for the switch comes up the firewall and it uh, connects to the connectors uh, on the firewall itself. And what do I find? I find that somebody has actually bypassed that switch. This side over here is for the reverse lights, which you can see leads nowhere. And this side here would go to the neutral safety or ignition cutout part of the switch which you can see somebody has bypassed because without this little loop wire on there, uh, the current isn't going to travel through back to the ignition switch and allow the car to, uh, to start. So Ford still makes the neutral safety switches for these old Mustangs. So I picked myself up an original switch. I know it'll work. That's the good thing about the Ford original parts. You can pretty much figure they're going to work. And uh, I've just plugged it in. Uh, the red side is usually for the reverse light side because that's why they have the red uh, end on there. And I just plug that in. Now I'll see whether my circuit is traveling through. So we'll walk to the back of the car and we'll see what we got. But before we do that, this little switch goes through the um, input shaft, or I, sh I should call it the selector shaft of the transmission itself. So when you turn the selector from park to neutral, this little center guide here turns one way or the other and selects whether you're in reverse, neutral, drive, and it will actually make the reverse lights go on and off. So while I turn this switch, let's send the camera to the back of the car and we'll see whether the reverse lights switch on and off. Sure enough, as you can see, when I'm going from say neutral to reverse, uh, as far as the switch goes, you can see that the lights come on. If I go out of the reverse selector of the switch, boom, the lights go off. 
Now they go on. So this switch plays a big role, as you can see, on why the reverse lights don't work. So that's the path that you have on the reverse light circuit. You got your fuse, you got your reverse lights themselves, you got the switch that goes on the side of the transmission. So when the selector shaft goes from one gear to another, it takes the switch with it and puts it in the, uh, in the selection it needs. On the stick shift cars, what you'll have on them is actually a switch that's mounted on the side of the shifter itself. And that, uh, when it gets triggered from a reverse light, or I'm sorry, from a reverse rod hitting it, that's what will make the reverse lights go on. So that's a nice little how-to. That's a pretty simple thing. Like I say, run out, get yourself a test light. You'll use that thing for radios and all sorts of stuff around the house, too. I've been getting pictures and videos from all over the world. This one video that this gentleman sent me is pretty clever. He pulls out of his garage, he takes his car for a nice country ride uh, in Europe, and wait until you see it. Check this out, it's pretty good.
watching this week. Make sure you stay tuned for my next episode. I got plenty of stuff coming up, man. It's endless for me, man. I'm telling you, I've been doing this stuff for over 30 years. Between stretching Mustangs into limousines, making them into right-hand drive cars, you never know what's going to come up next. And remember, this doctor, the doctor of restoration, I'm always in. See you next time. Thanks for watching.